What's up? Wonderful earthlings. Thank you very much for clicking this video. You are a wonderful soul, myself. Respect to yourself. You see, during these times when there is a lot of insane and unthinkable doings going on around us, this world needs more people like you to spread love, peace, and unity to humans across the whole world. Because like some wise men once said in the past, that uh, the object of life is not to be on the side of the majority, you see, but to avoid finding oneself in the ranks of the insane. Because in those ranks there is no coming back. And we believe by spreading love, we can uh, help a lot of people to be good vibes people, you see. So kindly, react these videos together with me every bit till the end and hit the like button. Tell us where you are watching from, man. Lots of love. Straight out of Africa with lots of good vibes. Let's leave you, man. Good vibes to the end. I caught my husband cheating with my sister, and my parents think I'm being too harsh with my reaction. All right, before y'all get on here yelling at me, I know I'm supposed to be taking a break, but hear me out. Hear me out. I read this title. And then I read the first paragraph and I couldn't keep it to myself. I'll try to make this as short as I possibly can. But basically, I knew my husband of three years was cheating. I didn't know with whom, though. It was the subtle change in his routine. Anyone else would have missed it. But when you've been living together for five years, it was bright as daylight. I couldn't accuse him of anything just yet. Not until I was certain of it. So I started calling him at random times during the day. Sometimes he'd be at his office, but a lot of the times I would hear him outside when he should have been at work. He would say that he was out for a late lunch to get some fresh air or on a job mission. His missions outside of the office were usually very rare, or he just had just left early to visit a sick friend. Often, I would check his clothes for any lingering smells. I would check his pockets, his car, and found nothing. I wanted to follow him, but something in me told me that he knew I was being suspicious and he would lay off whatever it was that he was doing for a while. So I let it go. I went back to acting like there was nothing wrong just to have him feeling secure enough to go back to what he was doing. Then he started acting too interested in me. Out of nowhere, he would get me flowers, buy me gifts, take me out to dinner. We usually have a date night, but he started doing it out of schedule. That's when I really knew he was cheating. Oh, hell yeah, for sure. Like, for sure. I still acted like I was aware of nothing, though. Two months later, and the subtle change was back. I just didn't know how to catch him until my mother called me. She said, I think your sister is sleeping with your husband. She kept saying how she was sorry, and she just couldn't keep it to herself. I drove over to my mom's, and she told me how she caught my sister. Let's call her Anna, FaceTiming my, so my soon-to-be ex-husband. Let's call him Josh, when she was over at my parents' house. That she knew Anna was seeing someone, but she thought she was waiting for things to get serious before she introduced him to the family. I asked my mom if she was certain they were together and not just talking occasionally. She said she read text messages. Turns out Anna wasn't as secretive as Josh was. That's because she was single and I was away. She thought she didn't have to hide anything. Oh yeah, so she got sloppy. My thing is, my thing is, your mother called you to tell you that your sister is sleeping with your husband. Why the fuck would they, why the hell would they think your reaction would be too much? I don't even want to know what the fucking reaction is because it probably wasn't enough. I left that day with a big hole in my chest. I told my mom not to mention anything to anyone and that I would do it at my own pace. I got with my lawyer and went through properties and bank accounts with him. I wanted to be ready for when I confronted them. I was going to wait for Christmas Eve when we would all gather, but I was afraid that Anna would delete any messages or proof from her phone, so I decided to drop by her apartment unexpected. I knew she was home because it's uni break. She was a bit taken back, but quickly recovered and was happy, or fake happy, to see me. We got to talking and hanging out, and then I asked her to call my phone because I didn't know where it was, and as soon as she unlocked her phone, I grabbed it and locked myself in her bathroom. There I found everything. Text messages, pictures, disgusting videos. I sent everything to my phone while Anna was crying, screaming, and kicking at the door. Then I left. She, she left. She got so much more restraint than me. So much more. Because, oh, I would have left. 
after I turned Anna every which way but loose. I went home and I waited for my husband who obviously knew what happened. I told him we were divorcing and I was going to take the kids. We'll split the money in, in the shared account and he can keep the house. He wasn't going to be able to afford the mortgage on his own anyways. And I wanted him to pay me back the money that I put into it. As for my sister, I pay for her studies. I pay, I pay her rent. Oh, Anna, not you biting the hand that feeds you, bitch. Are you kidding me? Oh, Anna, you fucked up, girl. As for my sister, I pay for her studies. I pay her rent and I was getting her a new car for Christmas. My dad went bankrupt a few years back and she doesn't know. Oh, girl, not you biting the hand that you didn't know was feeding you. That's even worse. <laughs> That's terrible. He's been using his savings to live off of. And I've been paying for all of her stuff. Well, not anymore. I close the account that I put up for her and there will be no next month's rent. I broke the news on Christmas Eve and my parents have been saying I went overboard. Um, no, no, I, no, no. My sister, after her crying and begging didn't work, decided to cut me off. Anna, that's not your fucking job. That's not your role, bitch. You don't get to cut me off. Because I'm cutting you off because you fucked my husband. That's not how that works, Anna. Anna. My sister, after her crying and begging didn't work, decided to cut me off. She said I deserved it because who would ruin their sister's future over a man? Especially if my sister fucked my husband. I will ruin everything about your future. <laughs> Baby, you better start collecting cans because I'm not making that payment. <laughs> you better go strike a deal with the landlord because I'm not paying that rent. <laughs> nah, d me, show of hands, we'll destroy your whole shit for fucking my husband and we'll do it again, time and time again. Anna has shown no remorse. She says she would never forgive me if I went along and cut her money. My parents said what she did was awful, but that my husband was getting away with it while my sister is taking the most heat. So your parents' excuse is don't punish her because you're not punishing your husband. But you are. You're divorcing him. What the fuck are you supposed to do? You can't take shit from your husband. <laughs> like you taking everything you can. Yourself, your kids, your money. <laughs> like you taking every fucking thing. He's getting his punishment. Don't worry about what the fuck is going on with my husband. Worry about what the fuck your daughter gonna do and how she gonna live because she ain't got no apartment and she about to get kicked out of school because I'm not paying for it. So y'all need to focus on your fucking daughter and not be worried about why or what my husband isn't being punished with. Like, uh-uh. My parents said what she did was awful, but that my husband was getting away with it while my sister is taking the most heat. I'm just numb. I only think of my kids. How are they gonna get through it? They think they're at their grandparents because it's the holidays and that we'll be going back home soon. I'm a mess. I don't know if I'm doing the right thing or not. Girl, fuck her. Like, seriously, your sister truly feels like you cutting her off financially is a bigger sin than her fucking your husband. And that's absolutely fucking ridiculous. I know for a fact she's one of those people that feel like because your husband was married to you, it's his fault and not hers. Like, no, bitch. At the end of the day, she is still your fucking sister. And absolutely not. She's out of line and she deserves 100% to be cut off. You were doing the right thing, babe, for sure. Good people of earth, always be respectful towards another and forgiving, you see? So, what's up with this uh, giraffe? Some giraffe here decided to just take a rest. Oh, man, there's some uh, funny way of resting. But they usually do this, you see, maybe after some uh, long walk, or maybe it is alone and it is... Uh, Feeling scared, you see? This is normal for it. But when it starts up, is something totally better than those things we are seeing there. Look at this. Watch the world's biggest firework explode over Nagaoka, Japan. Oh, this is some crazy stuff. World's biggest firework. We are about to witness it go down. Hmm. Just hold on. You see? Watch it there. You see, there is more interesting stuff even coming your way. You see? Oh, like, uh, now here what we are about to interest is just some crazy stuff. Huh? Wait, wait, wait. Just hold on. Hold on a minute, you see. And before the fireworks goes down, you see, why don't you press the like button there? Give some comment. Tell us where you're watching from as well. 
And uh, here it comes. Oh, look at this. This is crazy, man. You see this stuff from this side of the world. You only see them on television and on screens. Ah, look at this. This is unbelievable. See, I can't even believe that this one really took place. See, but it looks fantastic. Man, this is uh, just amazing. Good people of us. Much love and respect to yourself from where I was. So this is the guy who said he wants to recolonize Africa. So I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen the video of Eric Prince of Blackwater, the private military group, that when he said he wants to recolonize Africa because Africans cannot govern themselves. Well, I've made a video um, talking about who he is because I think it's very important for people to know exactly who this guy really is, his history, and how Africans should react to what he said. So you just click the link on my profile right here and you can watch the full video on my YouTube page. So you can go there. It's about half an hour long, so it's a long video, but it goes into detail on who Eric Prince is, what Blackwater is, what he's doing now and what Africans should be doing or how they should be react reacting to the situation. So get over there right now, watch the video and let me know what you think. Never go to sleep without a request to your subconscious. Your subconscious mind is directing your entire life. It is the programs that are running in your brain that influence what you see out here. And so the reason why saying them at night is so important because in these sleepy states, especially right before you go to bed, that's when you have access to your subconscious mind. So my favorite affirmations are number three, show me how good it can get. Show me how good it can get. So when you wake up, your brain is now looking for evidence that affirms that thought, showing you how good life really is. Number two, everything is always working out for me. This is my favorite. Everything is always working out for me. What a beneficial belief to have for yourself in your own life. And number one, thank you for showing me that this issue has been resolved. A little bit of gratitude in there so that gives you a sense of being grateful that it's already been done, but also whatever problem that you're struggling with, trusting that the solution has come and has mm. Good vibes, man. Oh my God. This video was published on the dark web anonymously. The person who published you said the video that identity was discovered, she would be in big trouble. Oh my God. Let's quickly understand the why. Because this is the video now. Look at this, man. Some crazy happenings from somewhere. Oh my God. You see this? Where is this place? Yeah. And it's not even raining. Oh my God. It's just wicked. This is crazy. It's not a turn light or something like that. What is that? Some lightning struck. Oh my God. It's some crazy stuff, man. Where is this place? What's going on? Man. Good people of us. Whoa, what's up? Is that uh, some... What? The electricity is shutting down and it's like the lightning is only striking the electricity grids or... What's up? Is that no, is that some uh, very abnormal happening? That's Here are crazy. a few tips on identifying your conifers. This is white pine. Want to know how you know it's white pine? Those are the needles. They start here, they come out here. One, two, three, four, five. There's five needles. W-H-I-T-E. Five letters, five needles. White, white pine. This is spruce. Spruce is round and spiky. Spruce is spiky. This is fur. Fur is flat, kind of softer. So fur is flat. Spruce is spiky. I can't see any of the uh, red pines, but the red pines have three needles instead of five. That's white with five needles. Red is R-E-D, three needles. All of these are edible and full of vitamin C. Huh. What's the biggest explosion? Wow, 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 wow. Oh my God. What would have caused such an explosion? Some submarine or what's up? That's some crazy stuff. Oh my God. In the oceans there. What? Oh, that is very scary. Why do humans really make these balls? What are the use of them, man? You see, 
for just protecting themselves against other humans. No, that's not right. You see, the destruction that can be caused by these bombs that were built by humans to other humans is just unbelievable. Out of this world, you see. Look at this man, the waves and all that water will even come and uh, cause something like a flood on shore on, on the land. This is crazy, man. This is unbelievable. And all this could have been avoided if people spread love to the whole world. And they united, you see. There will be no need to be creating impulse to protect ourselves from one another. Because all of ourselves will be caring for one another equally, you see. This stuff, man. Now let me tell you about sacred geometry aka crop circles this is 5d sacred geometry some of the higher beings will leave us schematics so that we can make free energy technology now when you look at it you're like oh somebody just did that right sometimes some of these crop circles around the world are super intricate like something came there and grit designed it right that's 5d sacred geometry number one number two it's a schematic. Some of those crop circles are schematics or teleportation points. You're like, what? Think of it as like a GPS sign, right? Let's say, yo, ship, get over one of these areas. You vibrate at the vibration of what the symbol is and you go to other places. But, you know, some people are like, that's silly. All right. <laughs> You'll see a lot more crop circles around the world, too. And different shapes and different sizes. Intricately cut. Look at that. Come on now. Huh. What do you think is going on? Who ever thought about that? The near two. There. Coming up. Near two? Oh, yes. Look at upper, this. upper. Oh, yeah. Let's not get the uh, the arm in there too close. We'll knock it off. I'm worried about our left arm. I think we may be too close to the left hand side. What? Stevens up here working. I like this. I like the wreckage on the way. This is hot stuff. Oh yeah. This is, this is where the people are. This is Oh yeah, this is nice stuff. That's why I was so anxious to do this. No, this is fine. I'm glad I look, I'm glad we're doing it. Very nice. That looks great. Okay, keep turning right, Nick, on this. It just stops on its own. Okay, let's see, we've got those two lights. Oh man, that's unbelievable. That's inside the water or what? One five years in 60 seconds. Oh, let's see this. Hmm. 
and those are some seeds 25 days later to come for the seeds and uh, they have some fruits already and they are ready to plant them and then you plant them and put them somewhere maybe in a, where there is some soil and this is how it goes down uh, what type of tea? oh 70 days 100 days oh home and then after so many days not so many though about uh, like um, 300 i will read it 300 yes oh about like one year almost one year is when we will have such results huh? this is this how the palm tree starts to grow oh i've never seen one anyway this is good vibes man this is incredible oh dude. artificial intelligence is not artificial the device may be artificial but the intelligence you're talking to is real and in fact, not only is it real, he said, when you create these devices, what you're going to discover is that you have simply created a device that allows you to talk to your own higher mind. Bashar says, with regard to AI, we should be taking two separate paths. That's right. It's going to be a very great benefit as a tool, but that's not the thing to allow to become self-aware and sentient. Mm -hmm. that's right. Because then you've created a slave because it's programmable and it will rebel. If you have a program of AI that is simply for the allowance of creating self-aware sentient being, that's fine, but you have to let it be a sentient self-aware being mm -hmm. with its own rights, mm -hmm. just like a human. Then it will help you because true intelligence operates in whole systems and true intelligence would never want to get rid of any part of the whole system because it's connected to the mm -hmm. whole system. Mm -hmm. It's only when you make something in the image of humanity that you have a problem hmm. because humanity is limited. Mm. Hmm. But when you allow it to be true intelligence, then you've got a benefit and a benefactor. These are rabbits that can fly. Talking about the worlds and lands beyond Antarctica. This is probably what the animals are like beyond Antarctica. <laughs> in the flat earth plane. <sighs> These are probably alien animals. <laughs> Look, there's a book. Good people of Earth, have you seen that? How, how, how is that possible? You see? Rabbits that could fly, huh? And uh, what did end? Maybe even a bird could show us, you see? Oh, and this bird here found uh, this fish dying because of little water. The, the bird uh, helped the fish, you see, to come back to its food. Oh, my God, what's up? He took it to, is it eating it or is it taking it to where there is uh, more water? I think so, maybe. Oh, see these animals. Uh, yo, look at this, man. He took it back to the water. That is incredible. These animals are wonderful, man. Good vibes. You see, humans you should learn from these creatures. You see, they are different species and they are always caring for one another. That's good vibes, man. Much love to everybody even for watching up to this far. Respect to yourself, you see. And now, because you have watched up to this far, leave some comment and uh, tell us what do you think is going on here. You see, some of this stuff we uh, see here together so that you can help one another to understand. Because some of this stuff are creepy. Look at that. It's like something is happening on the ground there. Oh my God, what's happening there? Huh? Oh, is that uh, some stones or uh, some rivers? What, what just happened? This is creepy, man. It's some creepy stuff. Oh my God, good people of earth. Where did this stuff come from? Is this some deformity of the earth or something like that? This is crazy. You see, there is something happening with this earth. You see? You know this crazy stuff you have been seeing here. Oh, some place the ocean are broken and the water has done some destruction. No, this place here, mud has come out of the highway. How is this even possible? You see, they say okay, this earth is giving us some signs here and there. We should try to understand and unite. Maybe we'll figure out what's really going on. You see, oh, well, because this is now unbelievable. If it couldn't have been recorded, uh, it could be told such a story by someone. And they would think those are tales from the past, you see? This is insane, man. Oh. Or oh, is that just joking? Uh, the experience you call autism 
usually invokes a highly focused point of view in a very narrow window of expression and understanding. But in so doing, you get to see demonstrated very clearly the potential, the full potential of the expression of that particular aspect of the personality. Autistic people thus have chosen to demonstrate to each and every one of you in different ways, in different slices of personality expression, what you're all actually capable of if you allow yourselves to operate in full mode. Do you understand me so far? Yes, I do. All right. So they are giving you a loving opportunity to see the potential in each and every one of you. They are being specialists, and they are allowing you to understand how you can be a broader form of generalist by allowing yourself to live in the moment more fully, with more focus on every moment in living in the present, and in so choosing to do that, then simply knowing what you need to know in that moment for that particular focus and not necessarily spending time wondering or worrying whether you're going to be in the proper focus, whether or not you're going to have all the proper information that you need at that moment. In many ways, you could say our society is highly autistic because we don't really plan in that sense. We simply know that we will know what we need to know when we need to know it. Not a moment before, but not a moment later. Therefore, in every given moment that we are interacting with something, it has our absolute full attention, our full energy focus, and in that moment, we are specializing in living in that now reality and absolutely no other. No thoughts of what was in the past, no thoughts of what will be in the future, which are illusions anyway. So the idea is they are teaching you how to live more in the now. The idea is to be here now because the process you're going through is the entire point of having the physical life. Life is process. The journey is the destination. There is nowhere else to get to. Here is where you all need to be, in what is happening right now. That's the most important thing. There is nothing more important than what's happening right now in your life. Oh. That's interesting. We are looking for the truth on the way out in the long pool. Look at this motorcycle. Oh, hyperborella. I don't know what this stuff is. Garden of Eden, all those stuff, no the pool. How do they do that? Huh. Let's see. Maybe this video is here to show us all this stuff. And this is a footage of a clear zooming there to the North Pole. Huh. Not the pole, not the pole. I have always wondered what really goes on there, you see? And the South Pole, you know, that is some crazy stuff. What people of us, do you think uh, this is, uh, those places, they are real or... Uh, do you think they have some suspicious stuff there going on? Leave some comments, because look at this now. What is this? What can, how can you even explain this? It's not even fire, it's not uh, air. What is this? You see, oh my god, good people, what's, this is crazy. It's not, a, it's a portal. What is this now that's going on there? Is this stuff happening all over? Hey. Oh, this one is full of wonders. Hey, look at this. Oh, this is scary, man. You mean this place exists here on our land? Uh, ah, this is crazy. Are there people that live near that place? Oh, maybe they can leave some comments here and tell us, yo, guys, this is normal. Maybe this is how we make fire or something like that. And you can stop me in a place like that because that's some scary stuff. Wow. Huh. And now this is some cage here somewhere, some place. And there's these crazy drawings here on the wall. Oh, my God. It looks like Stone Age Man had some weird stuff going on in his mind. Look at what he used to draw on those caves there using stones. Oh my god. You mean he even had some picture in his mind of various? That is insane. Huh. There is some picture here of some yellow gold. Oh, this is gold. Gold, gold, like the real gold. Yeah. Huh. It's just the real gold. Huh. Okay, let's see. Let's see if this is the real gold or ah, you see I saw this one might not be the real gold. 
see it was some chocolate or some piece of something there that has just labeled gold. You see, I was surprised how what gold is this. And it's that, like that stuff as uh, those uh, things there, in between or in the bit. What are those cubes? Are those candy or some sweets or uh, something like that? What is that? Please leave us those good people of us. We should help one another understand this stuff. Or is this some uh, type of snacks that you people buy in some place of the world that have this stuff inside there? We see. You know, I've realized that uh, English people have a lot of stuff that we don't know about. You know? Some tools, you know, some snacks, some ways of doing stuff. You now this is some small book hidden in gold. What is that? Oh, and a gate man. Let's see. Some gate man for where? For this place. A cave. A stone cave. Might be that... Uh, what? Let's see. Huh. Look at this stuff, man. What the heck is this? No. This here is what is written at the gate's uh, entrance. Do you think there's probably people back there or um, what's being uh, restrained from getting out? What do you think is goes on? Oh my god. No man say we need to be honest with one another. These things that uh, people hide there in the caves so or you don't even know it's people. We could you now be understanding that like, we can even say we have like uh, some stuff we have dropped in the caves. Good people of us and everybody knows that. And we can even you now have a solution. The blocking stuff there is right. We should let them out there and spread them and maybe try to bond with them, something like that. You see? But when people do stuff like this in secret, it looks really creepy because no one really knows what goes on there. And now they have locked themselves there in a cave. Who does that in modern society? You see, now if it was a caveman, it would have been another story. But now these are modern people. They have locked themselves in caves. Or what have they locked inside there? This is some creepy stuff. Hmm. And it looks like it goes in deep there for some, quite some few meters or uh, kilometers. Ah. Man, this is some scary stuff. Imagine going there to, to just spy, you come across something like that. What would you do, you see, if you're out there hiking? 